touched on this a couple of times in previous questions, so I'm not sure I understood you. Um, you you've said um, the quickest way to close the gender pay gap would be for each employer to analyse their, their, um, uh, their own staff. Would that reveal um, uh, unequal pay for equal work? It would, Senator. So you, you think that's a primary contributor to... Uh, so, in other words, men and women doing the same work, receiving different pay? It is one of the contributors. But, I mean, it's a legal requirement for all yeah. organisations to pay people the same regardless yeah. of... I'm, I'm aware of that, yeah. So I'm, I'm interested to... What, what your view is on how many people are breaking the law on that. That is something that we cannot measure in the data that we collect, which is why we encourage, actively encourage, all employers to do their own gender pay gap analysis. And in doing their own gender pay gap analysis, we ask them to measure three things. We ask them to measure the like-for-like -like pay gaps that may exist in their organisations. Uh, we ask them to measure uh, their bi-level um, uh, 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 Gaps. Their what level? By level, which is um, organisations um, looking at uh, salary bands, if you like, um, so to ensure that um, that people within a salary band are being paid equitably. And the other thing we look is at is the organisational wide pay gap, uh, which looks at again, the distribution of things like women and men in the different um, management roles and different roles throughout the organisation. So we ask them to do all three of those because uh, it is that information that comes out of doing those three different analyses uh, that you are able to get a true picture of what is going on in each organisation. Mm. So if, if you took some predominantly female occupations like childcare or primary school teaching, and there was a substantial increase in um, males working in those sectors and obviously earning the same pay as the women. What would that do to the statistics? Would there be a, would there be a reduction in the, in the gender pay gap because men were earning those, especially childcare is relatively low paid occupation. Would that, would that change the, uh, the aggregate statistics on the gender pay gap? Um, I would have to, uh, 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 you know, until that happens, I can't tell you, Senator. But, but you, you arrive at your statistics, you know, must know what goes into those statistics. We haven't done any modelling around oh, that, Senator. If that would, would you like to take that on notice? I mean, my, my question is, is quite a genuine one. If the statistics are uh, measuring uh, unequal treatment, that's one thing. If it's measuring uh, uh, different choices made by men and women in terms of their occupational, their jobs, uh, that's a different thing. So what I'm wondering is if there are a lot more men in childcare, that would be a good example. It's not a high paid occupation and it's overwhelmingly women employed in it. What would that do to the statistics that you're capturing and, and, and your calculation of the gender pay gap? You're nodding there. Uh, I wonder whether you have an answer. Um, uh, Jenny Breda, who have done the research and analytics executive. Um, Senator, if we, if we haven't done proper modelling on it, so I can't give you an exact answer, indication would be that if we have, as we measure the average, it, the average would, could, or it, would, it could then lead to a decrease in the, um, in the gender pay gap. Mm -hmm. And it, as we know from the KMPG report, segregation, occupational segregation contributes to the gender pay gap. But as I said but, before... But we, we haven't done the modelling. And to, to be frank, I mean, we don't have resources to do modelling. Mm. We, 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 mm. we do analysis of the data that we collect. Yeah. No, that's... I'm not, I'm not criticising you for not having done it. There's a question as to what you're measuring or what the calculation of the gender pay gap can be attributed to if it's due to the fact that men and women are, or women are being discriminated against in terms of pay, which is illegal, that would be a concern. If it's, if it's a consequence of the occupational choices that women make, then that's perhaps less of a concern. That's where I'm heading with yeah, this. And I get that, Senator, but I, but I would also say it is a contributing factor. It is not the contributing factor. We know that there are a number of contributing factors to the gender pay gap. Mm. All right. 
Um, and uh, so I'm going to be quick as I usually am here. Um, uh, what, so currently you're, you're capturing data or reporting data based on males and females. Uh, are you under any pressure? Do you have any um, uh, sense that in due course you will need to capture data on other genders, transsexuals and intersex? The Act is very clear. The Act is very clear. This is about collecting data around women and men and uh, that is all we collect on and mm. that is all we can collect on under the Act. Okay. Thank you.